Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play Destiny of an Emperor! Against Huang Chen and Lung Bao. Let's see, as far as Huang Chen is concerned, yeah, I'm not really worried about his tactics at all there. But uh, Lung Bao actually has a decent amount of strength. So I want most of my party members to go after him first. Let's also get Jiro going on the party, and since we're next to a water source, I want to use Hong Shui on all enemies for water elemental damage. Yeah, look at that damage! It has a base damage of 1500, and it costs 11 TP there. So yeah, it is a lot more powerful than the previous ones. Oh, might we do this in one round? No, not quite, but yeah, that is the power of Hong Shui. It is one of my favorite tactics in the game when I can actually use it, which is the drawback. But it did help us gain another level. Yeah, now our Tiger Generals are going to start gaining a lot of soldiers per level up there. And we learn another tactic, Wan Fu, which restores all soldiers to a single general for 10 TP. I don't really use it that much. I like Yin Zian a lot more, but I don't really have much of a choice at this point. So that's what we've got. And we gain some more NTP out of the deal. Awesome. So now let's try and take uh, Luo Castle. Well, it's not that small. For boss time! Okay, it is small compared to yours, but we can deal with that. Okay, so let's see what we are dealing with. First, Matal. He's the Tiger General that they were talking about back at Fushui. He's got a lot of strength and intelligence. I definitely want to add him to my ranks when I can. Madai, I also want to add to my ranks, but... Uh, let's see, he's not a Tiger General, but he does have really good strength and intelligence. And finally, Pang De, the most dangerous one in this battle, because he has Jameon, which blocks all physical attacks. So I want to take him out as soon as I can. First things first, let's get Beiji on my party members. We'll go with Jiro there, and we'll get started there. Uh-oh. Okay, so Huang Zhong is not going to have Beiji set on him, so I need to remember that. If he ever stops being paralyzed there. But, uh, okay, so now let's go with power pills on Pangde. Let's see, Weyan. Hmm, I'm thinking if I want to heal himself first before using BG. Yeah, why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't you heal yourself up? We can buff you up later. I want to use Dare now because Hong Shui, it, we're too far away from a water source. So I want to use Dare on Machao. It has a base damage of 1300. So it should be able to work really well. Yeah, look at that damage. Nice. With uh, Beiji there, that really helps us out a lot. Ow! Okay, Huang Zhong is free now. Voided the paralysis. And hopefully, yes! Okay, we got Pang Dei out of there. That'll make life a lot easier. Okay, so now, yeah, let's just keep going with power pills. How about we go after, uh, well, actually, yeah, Machao would make more sense. Okay, let's get BG on you two guys. I don't know that it really matters at this point, but I'll just go with it. And how about we get Dare going? I'm just thinking... No. Yeah, no. Let's actually uh, use the power pills on Madai there. Okay, you get BG going on yourself. Same for you. And then we'll go with Dare on Machao. Because he has less intelligence. So I'd be more likely to actually hit him. Although, if we, yeah, use our power pills, maybe we don't even need BG anymore. Alright, yeah, I guess we, uh, don't really need it. Ha ha! Well, you have now! 
You mean after you tried to murder us? Sure, why not? Four party members with Machao and Madai. Hooray! If you say no to his offer, uh, he'll just, he'll actually leave. It's not a but thou must situation. I don't know how else you would recruit him, maybe from a random battle after that point, but yeah, just recruit him now. Boom, we're good to go. Hooray! So let's see what amenities they've got at Buo Castle. Finally, we have a place that we can go wing to get back to. So we're good to go. All right, and let's see, as far as Machao is concerned, I'm gonna have him replace uh, Zhang Fei coming up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the uh, place where they said they had that like special iron or whatever it was over there. Yeah, exactly. Well, all right then. So yeah, the thing with Zhang Fei is that, yeah, he's got a lot of strength, but he's, yeah, really light on intelligence, and that's gonna become uh, a detriment to the party there. So I want more intelligent characters to replace him. So let's see, first thing I wanna do here though is I'd like to sell the sword because we're gonna find another weapon in just a moment. And then I would like to buy a whole bunch of elixirs coming up here now that we have one foo yeah we're gonna need elixirs for the little bit of spot healing that i'll need so i don't have to spend 10 dp every time i want to restore one character of uh, their soldiers and then i'd also like to get a gold wing although i'd like to buy even more than that but uh for now that's all the room I've got there. Oh, I thought we saw someone. Yeah, I've already uh, met the guy, but I guess if you missed him, well, there's another opportunity to learn about him. And if you search above the well here, we get a battle axe, more powerful than even the swords that we've had up to this point. So yeah, we definitely want to give that to Machao since with uh, Zhang Fei leaving the party. He's gonna have. He's gonna be tied in strength with Zhao Yun and Guan Yu. And let's see. Oh yeah. Also, he has less intelligence than them. So he's always going to be attacking. So that's why I want to give him the battle axe there. Let's see. Madai should be at the headquarters over there. Oh. Okay, well, never mind then. What, what do you mean? We just rescued the guy. What the? Some gratitude? Well, maybe we need to teach him a lesson. Oh, okay. Uh, is that name supposed to mean something to me? Well, too late. He's here. I am Liu Bei's army. I am the Brute Squad. But, uh, okay, so now, let's remove Wei On. Your services will no longer be required. I don't think we can actually fire him, though. Yep, no, nope, we can't fire him. But we can bring in Madai to replace him there. And then he should have everything he's got. Okay, so now, let's see... Okay, so I'm going to put Madai at the top and Machao in the fourth slot. Yeah, unfortunately, Machao doesn't have as many soldiers as he did when we were fighting him before. But Madai does. Kind of strange. I guess it just has to do with him being the Tiger General. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, let's get you up front there. Then Machao, Zhao Yun. And that should be good. Yeah. Yeah, that ought to work out. All right, so we got all that going. And now, let's see, so now we've uh, finally reached level 23, a pretty critical level up for my plans. What makes it so special? 
find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!